Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at the AliExpress scraper from scrapingsolutions.com.au. The purpose of this software is to scrape product data from the AliExpress website and export to an Excel or CSV file. So let's take a look at the program. Okay, so the first thing we do is go to the edit search list button at the top. And then in this box is where you can enter the list of uh, URLs to the search results from the AliExpress website. And I'll just show you if I launch up the browser here. So we've got the search results up here. And right at the top, if you click on the um, address bar and just copy and paste that address into the search box right here. Now you can add uh, multiple URLs into this box. Just press OK when you're finished. Okay, now when you're ready to start the scraping process, just press on the start button right at the top. And now that's just going to scrape the website, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. Anytime you want to stop the scraping process, just press on the stop button right at the top. And then just press on OK. OK, so we've collected our data and we have them all in uh, rows here. And in these columns, um, we have the various bits of data that is collected. We have the source URL and we have the product name. We have the average rating, the total votes. And you can scroll across using this scroll bar right here um, and to view some of the other information we have. Um, we have the uh, total orders, uh, the image URL, colors, currency, sizes price, discount price, discount rate, uh, the quantity available, sold by, sold from, and then we have the uh, feedback percentage, and we've got the feedback numbers, uh, product details, item specifics, HTML, um, we have the product description image URLs, um, we have the 5 star, 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, 1 star, and we have the uh, packaging details units, um, we have the package size, package weight, um, we have the category, and we have the uh, shipping companies right here, um, we have the uh, estimated delivery, um, we have the shipping companies again there, we've got the estimated delivery again, um, we've got loads and loads of information, as you can see it's collecting here, and just all the different shipping companies as you can see. Just going across and the shipping costs there and keep going so much information that collects here and we have the URL of the page reference URL and the scrape data as well lastly so all that information there is ready to be uh, exported to a file so to do that you can simply tick these boxes right here on the ones you want to uh, select for exporting if you want to do them uh, in a select manner um, or you can select the entire list by simply pressing Control A on your keyboards and what that does is highlights the entire list and then notice up the top we have the toggle check button if you click on that it highlights the entire list press on the export selected button right here and then um, in this box we have the option to save it to a location on the computer. I'm going to choose the desktop right here and where it says file name just enter a name for the file. Um, I'll just call it my data and then here we have the save as type. You can choose to save as a CSV file or an Excel file. I'll leave it as a CSV file and then simply just press save and then it says export completed. So that's now I've saved all the data into a file. Okay, so as you can see, I've opened up the document in Excel and we have our data collected right here. So you can use this data as you wish and it's all put into uh, columns just like on the program. Okay, now lastly, we're gonna take a look at these settings at the top and I'll show you what these options here are for. Now the max threads uh, is useful if you want to speed up the data extraction process but as a warning using multi-threads can block your IP very quickly. Uh, the random request delay in seconds, um, this means how many seconds it will take to extract one record. Um, you should use uh, random request delays to avoid IP block. Now the random retry on fail delay, 
Um, this is for if uh, for, for whatever reason the scraping process fails, um, you can retry uh, within three seconds as you can see here. So you can increase and decrease uh, the numbers there. Um, we also have the duplicate check. So if you want to check for duplicates, um, just do a tick on the box here. If you don't, just untick it. Uh, now the program also saves your scrape data when you close the program and restart it. Um, but if you want to uh, reset the database, just click on this button right here and it will clear the database for you. I'll also mention that the program uses uh, techniques like random time delays and multiple browsers agents to avoid IP bans. Okay, so that was a look at the AliExpress scraper. If you have a similar requirement to extract data from AliExpress, you can always buy this software from us and we can completely customize it to your needs within three to five business days. We also give free 12 months warranty on the software against any HTML changes done by AliExpress that could stop the software working. But if you are too busy to run a software on your own, you can use our 100% managed data extraction services. So we just send the data you require daily, weekly or monthly for a small fee. Get in touch with us using our website www.scrapingsolutions.com.au and click on get a quote on the top right hand corner of the website. We will then give you a quote for our managed data extraction services or to buy this software as it is with any modification you like to it. We usually reply within a couple of hours. Don't forget you can check us out on our YouTube channel. The link is on the screen now. Thanks for watching.